king was perfect in the kingdom. But there was one thing that made King Prabhu and Queen Tara sad, for they did not have a single child. The queen became very sad and often cried. Seeing his desperate wife, Prabhu decided to leave for the forest to pray to God. The king prayed so sincerely that God answered his prayers. The next year, the queen gave birth to a lovely baby girl. Everybody in the kingdom was glad to hear that their beloved king was finally blessed with a child. There was a great celebration in the kingdom and the people came to see their little princess with gifts of every kind. As the princess grew up, she became more and more beautiful, but she became proud and arrogant too. King Prabhu and Queen Tara arranged a grand party to celebrate a 17th birthday, inviting all people in the kingdom to the palace. King Prabhu sent for the most famous jeweler in the country and asked him to make the best necklace studded with as many precious stones as possible. The jeweler in turn strived hard and made the most beautiful necklace as he too loved the princess. The day came when the princess turned 17. All people gathered in the palace garden to celebrate her birthday. King Prabhu and the queen came along with the lovely princess Lavanya, fabulously dressed. All the invited guests were enchanted with the beauty of the princess. The arrogant princess repented for her rude behavior and transformed herself into a kind and generous princess. The king and the queen were very happy and so were the people of the land. One day, a handsome prince from a nearby kingdom married the late princess and they lived happily ever after. Thank you.